he decides to convert him into a motorcycle. Arrested by the police because he has an illegal car. Original camera from the Moroccan desert. But see, he tied a he tied a string to the top there. He's from way across the way. Like yeah, genius, isn't it? Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, my name is Drew Casper and I'm the curator of the collection. And I'm Doug Malone, I'm the Director of Vehicle Operations here at MDCC. My name is Emil Lorette. My name is Philip and I'm with Emil to help him translate his adventure. Can I tell you? Ça aussi c'était long à faire. Et ça c'est très très long, c'est des barres de direction. J'aurais pu faire un système plus précis. C'est d'ailleurs pour ça qu'elle est difficile à conduire, parce que tu vois, il y a vachement de jeu. Euh, ouais. Et il aurait fallu que je fasse un système plus précis avec les, les barres de direction. Mais c'est compliqué qu'une fois que tu as fait un choix, tu Oui, tu as fait le choix, tu sais, c'est difficile de aller pour 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 aller yeah, and this part was difficult to solve. This is what the steering column was before? Is that what that is? C'est quoi? C'était la colonne de direction, ça? Yes, yes, yes. Mais ça, ça tu, je, peux, je peux pas utiliser ça. C'est ouais. trop démultiplié. Sur une moto, il faut que ce soit comme un vélo, il faut que ce soit direct. Ah. Et c'est démultiplié, si tu mets un volant, ça devient direct. Ah. C'est ce que fait les, 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 les Canadiens, pour éviter ouais. la... C'est-à-dire démultiplié, euh, ça, rien. Yeah. You couldn't use this one, he says, because uh, to... Once you did your choice, you you can't mm -hmm. rewind. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can do better, but uh, yeah. once you make the choice. And he said the guys from uh, what was the c'est quoi le type de l'émission déjà? Mythbusters. Yeah. Ouais. Yeah. They, they did use that then. Ils ont utilisé ça. Eh oui. Ouais. Ils ont gardé le volant, ils ont mis un volant à la place. Yeah. yeah. And that's why. C'est uh, trop They failed. Tu fais ça avec le volant, la, la, la roue est plus à peine de ça. Ouais. Donc, uh, uh, sur un deux roues, un vélo, il faut, il faut, il faut, il faut, il faut, faut le plus direct possible. Uh -huh. Et ça, c'est ah, c'est ce que j'avais trouvé de, de, de plus direct. Et là, il y a, il y a une, 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 énormément de, de jeux. C'est ouais. pour ça que c'est si difficile. Si la direction était plus précise, j'aurais pu yeah. Uh, gearbox? The, the gearbox and it was too too complicated. Too complicated. So is this like a clutch to release? Or what's what's this lever for? C'est le voyage ça? Ça c'est ça c'est le voyage. Ça c'est ça c'était très long à installer. Cette pièce là, tu vois, ça, ça c'est intéressant parce que ici t'as une fourchette d'origine. Je vais lui montrer sur la rue Ça c'est le cette pièce là, elle vient d'ici. That with a tool is very interesting. 
une pièce, une pièce vraiment très très intéressante pour tout ça. Uh -huh. And that connects to the gear shift. Uh, oui, c'est ça. Oui, c'est oui, ouais. la commande de, de, de vitesse. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Truly amazing. <laughs> Truly amazing. Ouais, c'est assez fou. Hein. Ça, j'ai cramé un moteur comme ça dans yeah. l'air. Il veut le voir, like il, il a mangé Nico. du sable, le moteur. Yeah. Euh, C'était au Niger. Uh -huh. J'ai vendu à la frontière de, de Niger un douanier. Il a voulu. Uh -huh. Le moteur était mort, il avait bouffé du sable par là. Vous êtes prêt, Philippe, pour le show Je suis prêt Get ready Get ready Ok I think, uh, Emil, I don't think that'll meet California emissions though, but, <laughs> but uh, we got it going. <laughs> you had to put oil in it, and what kind of oil do you use? 10W40 oil. 10W40. About two and a half quarts, or about, uh, about two and a quarter quarts, so about 10 quarts. Okay. Then you bypass the regular bypass the gas tank, gas tank and run fuel out of a gas can and that's all it took. As far as the battery you just jumped it. The jump box. The jump yeah. box. Started pretty easy. A little bit of starting fluid. It did start easy. Yeah. Well the presentation, you know. But there's a lot of smoke, maybe, for the audience. Well, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. The huh? smoke wasn't yeah. as bad. Not, yeah. So. No. Was well, as you'd hoped? Yeah. Yeah, it's just, 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 be split in pieces. And I, that's when I was looking at all the pictures on the internet yeah. to try and figure out. I was yeah. like, ah, oh, yeah. but that didn't take. That way. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So. Yeah. Uh -huh. You guys want to play some basketball? Yeah. Uh, These no. basketball players are like six, seven, six, eight. But it's finished. They're going to cut a leg, a joint. That's right. Fracture of the poignet. So he broke his, his wrist uh, and his leg. Playing football? Yeah. I have Rugby? I have ferrite. Uh, he's got some iron it's in his leg. It's like a But uh, anyway, um, also during our travels together, Philippe likes to wear this really dapper hat, very French and very Slav and dapper. So, and I, I looked at that all week long. And I thought, what this guy really needs in the middle. Thank you guys for being here, and I'm going to turn it over to Drew Casper now. He's going to show you a video. Uh, many 
many of you are probably wondering how we actually got this bike here, and I will sort of explain that story to you. It all started about a year ago, and I got an email from Ward Morgan, who is one of the founders of the Midwest Dream Car Collection, an article written by the Vintage News. Read this whole article, and it was about Emile Leray and his amazing feat of turning the Citroen 2CV, or deux chevaux as they call it in France, turned it into a motorcycle to escape the desert. Started looking across the internet to see if I could find anywhere that would that had this bike or that would sell this bike, and uh, I actually came across a Facebook page that Emile had, and. Uh, and I wrote them an email because it had an email on it. So I wrote the email, not expecting it to work, and I kind of didn't expect them to speak English, but I got a response from Phil. I asked him if, if they'd sell the bike. He said, yeah, we'll sell the bike, but we have no way to value something so unique. So they asked what we would pay for it. And eventually, Ward and I sort of talked, and we decided on a number that we thought was fair, and we offered it to them. And uh, somehow we made a deal and I wrote sort of an affidavit that meant uh, we would get the bike, we would get all of the artifacts that came with it and the story along with the bike, all for the museum. We were happy with the result and I think they were happy with it too. The whole story of how we sort of started this. Thank you, Drew. And uh, first I would like to thank you all for coming here. Uh, for your fantastic welcoming. I mean, all the crew here is, you know, they're mob. So thank you to, to Walt and Brenda Morgan and all the team, you know, Drew, this young guy, uh, Doug, uh, Nick, the mechanic, I can't uh, remember all the names, I'm sorry, Sarah for welcoming us in our house, you know was really a good time here, frankly. So thank you to everybody first. And then uh, thank you to Emil, you know, because without him I wouldn't, wouldn't be here too. So he's the star, he's gonna come on stage after this. So this is a little movie we did to explain a uh, few mechanic tricks uh, Emil used in the desert because he had no really, uh, for example, to make a hole in the metal. He had no machine, etc., etc. So this is a very little movie showing a few tricks uh, that if ever you fall, you know, you have a problem in the desert, then you can maybe sound it out. So there's the little movie.
si vous voulez rien dire. Tu peux monter sur la moto pour que ses parents prennent une photo de toi Avec plaisir Je suis un jeune Avec vos parents Je suis un peu sur le monde, vous savez. C'est très difficile de conduire. Ce n'est pas comme un bain. Une chose que j'ai dit, c'est le principe de... The motor and the way the wheels turn. It's the principle of it that maybe you know this uh, French um, kind of vibe called Solex, you know, with the guy. So he used the, the reverse, you know, to go forward. So the reverse is not uh, that powerful. So he, he, he can't go, you know, uh, 100 miles. Uh, for hour, you know, was quite uh, so told him to get away because at the time uh, there was a, a tension, not a war, but really big tension between the pol uh, Polisario uh, at the border of Morocco and Algeria. So he was stopped by the stopped by the military, who told him get away, don't go that way. So he pretended to obey. Of course, and when he when he did his bike and uh, tried to to ride it, you know, uh, he was arrested by the same military, and uh, they were not very happy with him. So <laughs> they arrested him, arrested him, and uh, they bring him to Tantan. Tantan, Yeah, they bring him to Tantan with the with the bike, which was. Quite difficult. You had to repair their own track to put the back in it. So, <clears throat> and uh, you know they kept the bike. They wanted to keep it. And uh, because you were saying that well, was not really a dish of a visit, <laughs> so they kept it. And uh, he has to pay uh, a ticket of uh, four hundred and fifty uh, dollars. You know. Around this, and they kept the bike, and he has to come back later to to get it again. You know, Dushevo, uh It means, you know, for example, uh, you know, V8 engines. So it's V2. <laughs> That's it. Then huh? it says no other question. Thank you again for your work. You were wonderful. You were lovely. Thank you very much. I'd like to let you know up here in the cabinet is the original camera that we took the pictures with. You can see the selfie stream and how we rigged that. The, the police report and the ticket that he was issued were up here. And the pictures that he took. Uh, so come look in the case and see some of that really cool stuff that the guys have sent with the vibe. Thank you all for coming. Please stay and enjoy the food and the drinks and the with the Thank you.